Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today I'm putting out a video that is an addendum to a species spotlight that I've done on this species, the bamboo shrimp or Ateopsis mahuyusensis, uh, in the past. And I'll certainly put a link to that. But as I was watching my 150 gallon hillstream aquarium, I noticed how very clearly you could see the sexual dimorphism between the males and females of this species. This here is the female. You can see they both have uh, the sets of fans that they use for grazing. But if you look at her walking legs, the very first walking leg is very long and very slender. But when we look at the male, you'll notice that his first walking leg is quite thick. And this is probably the most easy way to tell their gender from a smaller size. These guys get to four inches, up to five inches, with the males generally being a bit larger. Um, you'll also notice as well that his abdomen is more streamlined, whereas hers is more plump. But I just thought this was a really great example of how two shrimp that can look otherwise almost identical, you can easily tell apart the gender. Now, just to refresh your memory, again, these guys get from four to four and a half inches or 10 to 12 centimeters long. Uh, they can take a temperature range of 24 to 28 degrees Celsius or 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. They generally live a few years. They are known to be a bit fragile upon import. I think that's because their fans are relatively uh, delicate and if they get damaged from ammonia burn or mishandling during transit, they often have a difficult time molting and then fail to thrive. I've had these two in this aquarium for three or four years at this point, meaning that their uh, supposed lifespan of two to three years may be an underestimate for these species. Their colors can range from a light green to a tan to an orangish red like these are, but almost all of them have that pronounced light colored stripe down their back. Um, I like to keep these guys in as large a tank as possible and as mature of a tank as possible as they are filter feeders. So it's really important that it's not a young aquarium and that we also provide areas of swift current, which is why this Hillstream Aquarium is so perfect for them. Now you could easily keep them in an aquarium of 20 gallons, but again, you'd want it to be really, really mature and have a decent flow in order for them to be able to capture those particles out of the water and feed adequately. Uh, their fans are not super functional. You can see that they do pick at surfaces some, but it's really best if they're collecting those particles out of the water column. Anyway, I just thought you guys would enjoy seeing uh, this up-close look at some fan filter shrimp. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy, um, and I'll see you in the next video.